Um, we are excited to talk to our uh, our young queen right here. Marcus, you know we got to protect the young queen, Miss Amaya Ferguson. What's going on, Maya? How you doing? I'm doing good. How are y'all? We're doing well, girl. How? Uh, so I, I watched some footage. I saw some film. I saw what happened last night. Utah State, you put it on them. Threes in transition. Lefty up and under. Like <laughs> Just getting right to it. In your first game, uh, t- tell us what what was going on. Talk to us about your your first college game and, and how it felt last night. Um, it felt great, you know, coming off the bench. I just wanted to bring another level of energy and competitiveness. So I was just trying to get to it. <laughs> no, that's right. Now, Amaya, you are from South Carolina, correct? Yeah. How did you get to California, girl? So originally I was um, committed to Temple, but my coaching staff that I committed to got let go. So I opened back up my recruitment. Um, the staff here got my film, came on an official visit, and just felt like home. Wow. Well, Temple is still Philadelphia. That's still a ways from South Carolina. So were, yeah. you, were you trying to go far away, or were you just feeling out who was interested in you along the way? I'm um, really just figuring out like where I was getting the most interest from and where I fit best. Wow, interesting. Um, you know, one thing we did see and learn about you is that you have or had, I don't know if you still have this, but at one point you had a 4.2 GPA. Is that yeah. still the case? Wait, so you smart, girl. You smart. <laughs> yeah. smart. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, one thing I, I would like to know is, um, and we'll talk, we'll get into basketball and talk some more stuff, but what other things are you interested in besides basketball? Besides basketball, um, I love reading, journaling, um, shopping. I love online shopping and hanging out with my family. Really? Journaling? How did what, yeah. what journaling has always been kind of a thing for you? Um, recently, since I got to college, just journaling about how my day is going and just how I want it to go. It's been good for my mental. That's good. That's good. I've been trying to get into a little, little journaling. My my mentors have been trying to, you know, get me to get into all the things, you know, journal and all. I'm like, bro, give me one thing at a time. Affirmations <laughs> and self-talk. You know, I'm like, bro, I, one thing at a time, bro. I'm, I'm sticking with meditation and yoga for now. I'll get I'll get to the other stuff later. <laughs> but that's great. That's wonderful. So you so you like to read and you have a 4.2. I God, my family would love you because I I didn't have a 4.2 when I was in school. <laughs> oh, you're not going to do that. <laughs> We're not going to compare now. <laughs> oh. Did you, so like, what, what, like, are, what are some of your favorite books or like things like to read? I don't know. Um, really, I love motivational books. Hmm. Yeah. You reading something right now? No, not right now. I'm about to. What, what's the last one you just put down? The last one, uh, Fervent. Oh, what, what's that about? It's just about like different, like your prayer life, um, just um, controlling your emotions. Yeah, different. Yeah. Yeah, we're fervent now. You know, fervent prayer. You know, Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> we we turned it on yeah. people over here. Says we yeah. listen. We oh yeah, when you're when you're a PK. You hear the word fervent prayer a lot. <laughs> you already yeah. know. You know what it is, Maya. You're not. You're not a PK, are you? No, I'm not. My grandma's a pastor. Grandma. I yeah. know. Right. Martin, Martin, that explains the Clark sisters thing we were talking about. You know that's where I was going. You know yeah, that's where I was going. That explains the Clark sisters thing the other day. <laughs> Amaya, we were reading up on you, and we're reading your interests. And I mean, it's go. I see, and I, I'm I'm paraphrasing. I can't remember exactly, but it was it went from like little baby future yeah. to you know so Michael B. Jordan on here. Somehow the Clark sisters crept up in there. I'm like, what is that? What does she know about the Clark sisters? <laughs> Do you listen to the Clark Sisters? Yes, I love the Clark Sisters. Get out of here. Name three songs by the Clark Sisters. Three songs, Living, Blessed, and Highly Favored, and um, You Brought the Sunshine. That's a great song. That's a great song. For sure. <laughs> uh, that song got some oomph to it. That's a good song. That's a great song. Uh, Maya, during the pandemic, my mom did a virtual series that I produced where she interviewed different moms. It was called When Mothers Pray, and it's on YouTube. One of the guests that she interviewed was Karen Clark Sheard. Wow. Yeah. I would have went crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you, are, you are a Clark Sisters fan, huh? You go, yeah. You're going to shows and everything, huh? Yes. How did, how did that start, though? Because, like, that's not... That, that's like the Clark sisters are great, but they're also not our generation. Yeah. 
I didn't, well, I, I mean, I also love um, Kiera Sheard also. So I think that's really how I got into it. Okay. Yeah, so. That's, oh, that's my good. girl. That's my great. My mom loves it. So, that's how so, I, so is it safe to say you listen to gospel before games? Do you is that is that your vibe or no? Yeah, it depends on what game it is. Depends mm. on what game it is. Yeah. Ooh, talk to talk to us about that. Unpack that a little bit. Like what's so the like, let's say let's say I need to get hype. I'll listen to my little baby, Meek Mill, different songs like that. But if I just need to like chill, calm down, I put on my gospel just to relax my mind. So or is that based on the game or just based on like how you're feel like is it the game or just like how you're feeling like what's it like what's a game where you feel like you need to get more hype or what's a it's game a, it's, like it's definitely depending on how I'm feeling mm. like if I'm already feeling like up and hype I might need to calm it down a little and if I'm just like too chillax then yeah I will listen to some little baby to hype me up. She puts the clock stations on. She can repent before she. <laughs> <laughs> that's that, yeah, that's what that is. So I wanna so I wanna go back to high school for just a second. Um, because I again, me and Martin, we spent some time, we did some digging, as we always do, trying to figure out, you know, trying to learn more about who we have on. Um, and I noticed something about your like your high school career was very, very um very great. <laughs> really good <laughs> high school career from like winning regionals a to winning. Like, a lot of winning. A lot of winning. There's a lot of winning. You, we, is there, what was like the highlight of your high school career? Definitely my junior year winning the um, region championship. That was our first region championship since 2011. It was like 11 years later. Mm-hmm. So that was huge for the city. So that's definitely a high. Wow. What's the city where your high school is in, Maya? It's in St. Stephen. St. Stephen, South Carolina. Yeah. My mom is from Sumter, South Carolina. Do you know Okay, yeah. You know something? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Now, excellent. This is three, um, three weeks ago with Lo. Yeah, man. South Carolina. Something holds clout in South Carolina, apparently. Yeah, yeah it holds holds some weight down there. That's fire. That's fire. Um, Maya, talk to us a little bit about how your love for basketball started and then like continued to develop. Like the like the love, the real love for the game. Like where where did that come from? Um, really my, my dad put the ball in my hands and then just growing up, always playing with my brothers and in rec league. I don't know. I feel like in my family, everybody just hoops. And even where I come from, everybody hoops, like we all hooping at the park. So I think that's where it came from. Wow. Your dad hooped, I'm assuming. Yes, he did. That's fire. How many brothers do you have? I have two older brothers. Okay. Those are only siblings? Yeah. Wow. Excellent. Oh. How often do you beat your brothers and your dad in basketball? Ooh, a lot. I don't take losses. <laughs> like, I mean, did it take time though? I mean, did yeah, it, it definitely time? did. It definitely did. And then once it clicked, it was over. Yeah, once it clicked, <laughs> it clicked. <laughs> How? When's the When's the last time you played your dad one on one? Ooh, my dad. Ooh, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Young Probably enough. like. Oh, how, bad, how bad did you beat him? Skunk. Skunk. <laughs> and, and what about your what about your brothers? Is it like are they equally good? Is one better than the other? Like how how are your brothers? Yeah, they're equally good, but one is still playing more than the other. So like my oldest brother, like we be at the gym on Sundays, killing everybody. <laughs> if they do, if somebody does get a win on us, if they feel like they won. A natty. <laughs> like <laughs> that's how I used to feel going to the gym with my sister. Yo, when I was young, we used to she used to take me up to LA Fitness for the runs. Boy, we used to run them boys off the court. That joint was the best feeling, dog. Everything. Hey, so Maya, do lefties run in your family? You're a lefty, right? Yeah. All right. Who else? Do you have more lefties in the family? Just both my brothers are lefties. Oh, neither parents are lefty. No. No, you got that. You got that lefty vibe too, girl. You just, but the, but let's talk about this lay last night because that was with the right hand. You went yeah. inside hand, but what, what, walk me through that play. What was going on there? I don't know. The biggest thing was just to get downhill. Once I got downhill, I felt like I was too far. Like if I laid it on my left hand, it would have had to be like a hook type. So I just inside hand scooped it. And. Hey, what's what's crazy about that too is that I read 
that apparently the toughest player you've played against was Malaysia Full Wiley. Now, yeah. did you play against her in high school? In AAU. AAU, gotcha. Yeah. Now, it's crazy because your play was, I was looking at the play and I'm like, yo, did she do the same? You, y'all had pretty similar plays. Like, I don't know if anyone else peeped that, but I, I'm yeah. like, so we're about to talk to Maya tomorrow. I know she mentioned she played against Malaysia. Malaysia had to join a transition around the back, the, the up and under. I'm like, I'm watching your joint. I'm like, yo, did she? I'm like, I'm watching the same play. That's crazy. So what was it like uh, for you playing against her? Uh, it was good. That's my dog for sure. So just going up against her, um, it was good. Um, just playing on the AU circuit. It was a bunch of college coaches there, everybody. South Carolina, Ole Miss, Virginia Tech, everybody was there. So it was good. We, My team ended up losing by like two or three points. They put it out. Did you play against her only that one time? Yes. Okay. What was your What was your impression of her? You obviously knew knew yeah. of her. Um, just like that's a really talented player. Like I love playing against other people that's just as great as me. So just competing was really fun. Who are some of those other players that you've enjoyed playing against? Whether it's been high school or or, or any level, really. Ooh, um, I'll say <laughs> Trinity Vance. We're in the same AU team, but like in practices, like just going at it every time we step on the court, that was big too. Mm. And uh, how about any of your, you want to give any of um, your teammates love or anyone, any girls that are in your league or in your conference that you, that you know, or played against like on under other teams, anyone that you're from, that you were familiar with coming in. Coming into season, right? Yeah. Um, really, uh, I'll give a big shout out to my dog, E, and um, my other freshman, my roommate, Kate. Those are my dogs to show. We begin active. <laughs> uh, what, you know, talk about what it's been like um, just as a freshman, you know, preparing for your first game yesterday. I mean, what's the what's the experience been like for you with the transition from from high school to college? It's been really good. I mean, this off season, I took this off season very seriously. So I was just in the gym trying to get stronger, trying to get better, um, just trying to get my handles tighter, making sure I'm able to score over bigger defenders. But the transition has been really good. I feel like a lot of people say, like, the speed and the physicality is difficult, but I think I adjusted to that pretty well. The only adjustment has just been, like, adjusting to a new coaching staff, you know, figuring out what they – like, the way they do things and what they want from me and my and the team. Yeah, it didn't look like you were struggling to me at all. Watching them clips, I, I had to double check. I'm like, wait, she, they said freshman, right? Freshman. <laughs> Pulling off a free transition, Lord. Did she? Did she? Did they give her a cheat code or something? <laughs> Lord. So you, one thing I noticed um, when we were doing our discovery um, is, for the most part, except for what looked like one time, your number is is one, and the only time I saw you in a jersey that wasn't one, you wore twenty three. Is right. there some significance to the one? And then there's the, is there a reason why in that for that specific time you wore 23? Um, when I wore 23, it was just because they didn't have one. <laughs> so that's like the second number. That's like another go-to number for me. But what is your what is like what is why one? Like what is the significance of one for you? One, okay, so my sixth grade year, um, I started playing basketball for well, AU basketball for South Carolina 76ers and when we the first tournament we went to, we started looking at all the teams in the organization. And so we was watching and Loyal McQueen was playing. She's at Alabama. Okay. And lefty guard, shifty, can get downhill, can shoot the three. And I was like, I want that number. <laughs> so ever since then, I've just been wearing it. So yeah, she's definitely been an inspiration and someone I look up to. Oh wow, that's dope. That's dope. Um, Amaya, let me ask you something a little bit personal. Um, you know, uh we we posted, you know, a flyer of you and your hair was uh long and black and and um <laughs> you know I was looking, you know, I'm looking at your videos and looking and I'm like I, I almost had the text markers like do we have the right is this, is this the same do we get the right picture is it and you know I I don't have any experience in this area so just feel free to educate me on on you know what I'm asking you but but you know Sometimes I struggle because I'm looking at the pic. I'm like, is is it is that a mic? 
looking to have some different options. So talk, talk to us. You know, you need options in life. So talk, talk, talk yeah. to us about your hair options and lifestyle. So yeah. So for media day, I just I didn't want to wear my locks, so I just got a lace front. Right, right. Break, break that down. Break that because you know we. But you know what? What goes into that? What's the what's the thought process? I mean, what you know? Because I mean, I don't know what the Marcus. You can't relate either. So I, I'm just interested. What what all goes into that? Media day is important. Yeah, like, you know it's important. So how do how do you decide what goes into that? Um, just do. I just wanted to come different. I wanted to step different. When I walked in, people were like oh, Amaya, and I was like, yeah, that's exactly the reaction I wanted. <laughs> Wow. I mean, I'm, yeah, it's like, uh, I'm, I'm fascinated by people who can, <laughs> you know, who can pull off different looks. I mean, that, that's, uh, yeah, it's very interesting. Then you got this. So the lot is this like, this is for the season. Are you keeping this look for the season? A lot? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. How long have you, <clears throat> how long have you had, had locks, Mike? Uh, a year and one month. Okay. I, I, I wasn't expecting Martin to ask a question about your hair. I'll be honest. That, wasn't my <laughs> yeah, yeah. that was a personal thing I needed. Usually, to usually th there's a lot of times we ask questions that aren't on the agreed upon <laughs> list. <laughs> and sometimes they're within reason. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, we do like to have fun on the show. We do like to play games on the show. There is a game that we've played with two guests previously. Um, we're going to put 30 seconds on the clock. Um, the record, I believe, is seven. Um, yeah. Diamond Johnson got seven on our last show. Um, so am I, we're going to give you 30 seconds to name as many basketball players as you can, whose first name starts with the same letter as your first name. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Martin, you can give her a countdown and I, I'll, I'll keep track of, of the number. Got it. All right. Ready? Three, yes. two, one, go. All right, Andre Iguodala, Andrew Wiggins, Alicia Clark, Arike Gumbawali. Ooh, who else, who else, who else? Um, Alicia Claridon. Ooh, dang, dang. The heat is on. <laughs> um, five seconds. Dang, five seconds. Oh, my God. <laughs> The pressure is real. <laughs> time's up, time's up, time's up, time's up. <laughs> we have five. So we have five. Uh, <clears throat> that was a good start. She went NBA she and up. WNBA. So I thought she was about to run the table. Yeah. Yeah, I thought we were about to get a good one. I thought, we about to get I thought she was about to run the table. She said two yeah. two guys, two girls. She was Enrique, Alicia. I'm like, oh, she's about to go crazy. Yeah. He's a good letter, though, like for basketball. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like he's just a good I, I thought Amen Thompson, the, the twins, you could add two. What did Amen right. and uh, yeah. you consider yourself? Yeah. We always do remind that yeah. you yourself. Yeah, that's I mean, yeah, last time. That's how she got seven. It's because she made <laughs> right, right, right. Right. Yeah. Right. right. That's that's supposed to be the freebie, you know. It's like when you in the you know, you're supposed to write your name. You know, in school, like they would tell you, like, if you don't write your name. Did, did you guys ever go through that in school? They would say if you if you forget to write your name, you automatically fail. Wasn't that like a grade school thing? Did either of you go through that? So when I was when I was in school, I used to hate that. Right? I used to I used to hate it. Yeah. But and as you know, I, I work with kids, and now I understand. Mm, <laughs> now, now you get it. Now I get it. Now I get it. I've got like I've got. You can to write your name sometimes, huh? Like it, yeah. it has to be. And it's it's the most annoying thing when you have a hundred plus kids and you're trying to keep track of what's what mm -hmm. and someone doesn't have their name on it. It makes it see That's if there's just one person, you can just go off the list and figure it out. But if you've got like two, three kids that don't put their name on something, then so when I was in grade school, I hated it. But now that I work with kids every day and I have to deal with it every day, I, I, I understand. <laughs> um, Amaya. So we do, we have another one for you. We want to know, your top five queens right now. So this is just any women in life, basketball <laughs> players, family, friends, teammates, any any women who are giving you that queen energy that you need right now, uh, that motivates you, inspire you, who who would be your top five queens right now? Uh, I'm gonna go with my mom, Angel Reese, 
mm-hmm. Asia Wilson, Candace Parker, Sydney Colson. Oh, it slips it in there. What about, what about grandma? grandma can't get in the top five queen? I was trying to do a lot of basketball. So okay, all right. I'm not hating. I'm just I was just wondering about grandma. I ain't need grandma love. Whenever, whenever, whenever the face of the WBA, Sydney Colson gets some love. I'm I'm here for it. We're, we're here for that. Absolutely. Yeah. No, 100 percent Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I do want to ask you one more question, Amaya. Because uh, again, I noticed when and Martin mentioned earlier, you are a, a Michael B. Jordan fan, according to according to what your profile said that we read. Yeah. Do you is there I don't really know how to ask this question. Mo, mo, most people are Michael B. Jordan fans. Um, <laughs> why are you a Michael B. Jordan fan? Is there a certain reason? Is there an incentive? <laughs> <about him? laughs> you are a fan. You just appreciate his work, or or, or uh, is there more to it? <laughs> yes, I appreciate his work, but he also looks good. <laughs> Period. <laughs> just to, just to put it out there. Do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite Michael B. Jordan movie? Like, what's your favorite Michael B. Jordan movie? Uh. Probably Fruitvale Station. Oh, I haven't seen that. Have you seen that, Marcus? I um, I didn't see all of it. I, I fell asleep while I was watching. Yeah, I, it. I mm-hmm. never saw it. I not because it was boring. Not because it was boring. I don't want to. Keep, not because it was boring. It was like it was really late. It was really late at night. When I started watching. <laughs> Amaya is a little too cultured for us. You know, she reading books and you know right. Fruitvale Station. I, you know, I, my first would be Creed. You know, I'm a straight up. <laughs> <laughs> You talking about Fruitvale Station? I, I I never saw it. I never should I should I see that Amaya? Should I watch that? Movie? Yes, yes. Most it's like right. slavery stuff, right? Isn't it a slave movie or something? No, it's like I think it's more like not really. It's not slavery. Not, what is it? It's black. It's something yeah, black. Yeah, it is something <laughs> black, but not slavery. Not slavery. All right, all right. Well, yeah, the slavery ones I can't always get down with, but um, yeah. All right, all right. I'll, I'll watch it. I'll, I trust your judgment. I trust your because I trust your game. So your game, I, I trust your judgment. Mm-hmm. So I'll check it out. I do have one more question. I just, I just right. <laughs> as you see, I wear glasses. Um, how many? If you could, like, give me a ballpark, right? I don't know. I was a, I was a super clumsy kid, so maybe I'm the only one that had to go to this. How many pairs of glasses have you broken? And like, <laughs> as a kid, like, what was what was being a kid with glasses like? Because because I used to break glasses at least every other month. It just wasn't. It just wasn't a good look for me. I don't know. Probably like two, two max. Dang. Yeah. What about you? My mom literally used to have to buy me two pairs of glasses every time because I was always bound to <laughs> break at least one of them. I used to sweep my glasses all the time. So like the screws would get loose on the side. I remember I got hit in the face with a basketball once. Boom. That's why I don't. That's why I talk about basketball instead of playing basketball because I, I couldn't. I couldn't. Am I, do, do, do you wear contacts? No, I don't. You don't. So can you see? You don't wear goggles when you play. No. So can you see? You can see well enough yeah. without. Glasses. Yeah. Are those blue light glasses you have on? Yeah. I knew. Yeah. It. I knew it. Those ain't real glasses. She just did. That's for. That's for, that's for light. She's not. Those aren't prescription. No, these are prescription. I could have in my right eye. Light glasses. Martin. They're like for like the computers and stuff. Yeah, right. These are blue light glasses. They are? No, they're not. Yeah, yeah they are, but they're prescription also. With the black rim? Yeah. The yeah. rim itself is yeah, it's yeah. Those are blue light glasses for real? Yes. Any glasses you buy can be blue light glasses. You have to pay the extra to make it. Uh, uh, she has the joints that I have. She has the real <laughs> Martin. Joints. She has the real blue. You have real glasses. These are not but real. They're blue light glasses, Martin. They are? They do what these do? Yeah, my clear glasses I had before when we first started the show were also blue light glasses. They were real. I just paid the extra 15 bucks okay. for the people online to make them blue light. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah, I wear contacts. I wore, like, I tried to play for transitionals. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I wore contacts because I was, I grew up playing. I tried to play with glasses on and stuff and it wasn't working. So I, yeah, I switched to contacts. Have you ever played with goggles, Amaya? Or you've always just no, I can't. I can't get with the goggles. But you're not out there squinting, right? Like you can see no. fine. Yeah, I can see fine. Do you have astigmatism? Yeah. In one eye or both eyes? In one eye. Okay. I have one in both my eyes. 
It's not good. Really? What's astigmatism? It's when your eye is shaped like a oval, like a football, like Stewie's head, instead of a circle. Or more mm -hmm. elliptical than what it should be. So it's more like elongated on the sides. Yeah. I have one in both eyes. So I take these bad boys off. Really? It's yeah, without contacts, like, I, everything goes blurry. I used to, when I was a kid, I used to wonder, like, I don't know if you ever had this, like, like traffic lights or lights in general, like, there'd be, like, like the glare. They'd yeah. Like, like ex I thought it was me, but, like, no, that's not. It's because I have astigmatism. I didn't know that. I thought it, I don't know. I thought it was special. Um, Amaya, are you looking forward to Christmas or Thanksgiving more this year? And why? Mm. I'm going to say Christmas because I have to find somewhere to eat around here for Thanksgiving. Somebody has to cook. Oh, so Lord. Thank, I'm looking forward to Christmas for sure. What, uh, uh, what's that looking like? Because, Lori, I know you ain't getting South Carolina cooking. No. And then we come back from our game against Minnesota on Thanksgiving. So, mm. Ooh, Lord, I'm going to yeah. pray for you, girl. <laughs> Can you give me just real quick your top five Thanksgiving foods? Ooh. Macaroni, turkey and ham, most deaf. Um, collard greens, mm. yams. Mm. I can't get with turkey, but I'm with everything else. I'm with everything else. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mac and cheese, number one. Definitely. When you cook, Amaya, do you ever do you cook Thanksgiving or do you ever chip in? No, I let no, them do the work. Are we here for the eats? Yeah, we we here for the we here for the eats. Let the professionals do the work. <laughs> yeah, for food, right? yeah. Is it your mom who's usually cooking? Yeah, my mom. Well, really, we all eat at my aunt's house. So my mom cooks some. My aunt cooks. My grandma cooks, and they all just bring it together for me to eat. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Amaya, we appreciate you for coming through and chopping it up with us. Um, we we got much love for you. We can't wait to keep up with you this season and beyond. Um, big fan of your game already, just from the little bit I've seen. Um, you know, we definitely want to extend an invite. You know, we want to have you back on the show um, whenever you'd like to, to chop it up about, you know, anything, anything you want, basketball related, we'll, we'll be here. Um, any any like final words? Any final message or something that uh, you you want to get off your chest or that's just on your mind on the tip of your brain? What give, give us something? Give us a final parting word. Um, well, first I want to say thank y'all for having me, but then also keep an eye out for see someone's basketball because we're coming. And if you don't know who Amaya Ferguson is now, by the end of the season you will. That's what I'm talking about. That's what that's what, that's what we. Oh, Martin. No, we forgot to ask. Get up we and always, we always do this. We need to just put it on the show flow to ask. Maya, can you if there was one thing you had to say to haters of women's basketball, what would that thing be? Like what would you say to haters of women's basketball? Play me one v one. See? That's why I can't hate women's basketball. Because I get torched. <laughs> Mm. I'd be touching all types of grass. <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> look, bro, I, bro, look, look, look. We've been over this, bro. I'm not, I don't got it, bro. I sit on this side of the camera and I talk about it because I can't be on the other side of the camera and doing it. That's and we love and we love and respect you for it, my brother. We I really do. And we embrace you. I, hey, look, I, I, I appreciate the embrace, but yeah, no. Nah, boy. If Amaya did to me what she did to them girls last night, well, I, <laughs> I, I, don't it. I just don't got it, bro. I'm sorry. But look, Amaya, it was all it was truly a pleasure having you on the show. As Martin said, you are more than welcome to come back anytime you want. Talk about yourself, talk about CSUN. We can talk about Michael B. Jordan. We can talk about the Clark sisters. Whatever you want to talk about. You can come here, we can talk about it. Um it was a pleasure to have you on. Thank you all who are watching, for watching. If you are watching this not in real time, we appreciate you for coming back to watch. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Give Us a Shot Network. There's a lot of amazing things happening on the network all the time. Um, and, of course, for more Protect Our Queens content, please follow us on Instagram at Protect Our Queens underscore. And also, we do have Twitter. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at P-O-Queens underscore as well. 
Um, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times to protect our Queens podcast. It is not just a podcast. It's not just a show on YouTube. It is a movement. We truly, truly, truly love, care, appreciate, and respect the game of women's basketball. And if you don't like that, we got two words for you. So for Amaya Ferguson, my guy, Martin Sorries, I am Marcus of the Protect Our Queens podcast signing off. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, go watch some women's Marcus, basketball. Marcus, hold up. Let me do, let me do. Hey, finish this lyric, Amaya. If you see me and you trying to see what's up. <laughs>